Hi, I'm Laurie and welcome to your barless workout. Now this will be total body, but the main focus is going to be on your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, and your outer thighs and outer booty area. What you're going to need today is a mat. You will also need a mini band and we will need a set of light dumbbells. Now I have my chair here. I'm not going to be using it today, but that's always an option. If you need to brace yourself on something, always feel free to use a chair, countertop, or wall. So mini band, weights, mat, something to hydrate with. Grab it and meet me back on your mat. Meet me in a standing position, weight heavy in the heels. Take a big diaphragmatic inhale. And on the exhale, release the shoulders down and away from the ears. Hands on the hips. Let's start with some external rotation of the hips, out and in. Go out, bring it in. Just warming up. Out, bring it in. Four more like this. It's four, three, two, hold it here. We take it out, lower, press through the heels and bring it in. Out, lower, drive through the heels, inner thighs. Eight of these. Keep that big, nice inhale and exhale. Four more like this. It's four, lower, press it in. Two more like this, last two, last one. External rotation of the hips, it's out and in. Out and in, shoulders down and away from the ears. Big diaphragmatic inhale. On the exhale, draw that deep belly button up and in. Great job, we have eight, seven, then we go to the other side. Last four, three, two, hold it out. Now we take it wide, lower, drive through the heel, then in. Add the arms, not taking it to our full range of motion yet, but about halfway there. Halfway through, you have four, three, Last two, last one. Let's take it to side reaches. Reach it over, return. Reach, return. Lengthen, lengthen side body. Little taps, little taps. All right, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna add a little lat pull down with it. So go ahead, take the arms to field goal position. Elbows slightly in front of the shoulders. Now we reach and we pull. It's lengthen, pull the lats. Pull the lats down. Pull it down. So we're working the lat muscles located right on the back, kind of right underneath your armpit, but on the back side, posterior chain. Lengthen and pull. Eight more like this. It's eight, seven, six, last five, four, Three, two, one, take it wide, heels in, toes out. Just take it a quarter of the way down, then drive through the heels. It's down and lift, down and lift. Keep that nice neutral spine. So if you notice that your uh, belly is coming forward, like so, we just wanna fix that. So bring it down. We should get better glute and core activation that way. Now add the arms, push and pull. Push, pull it away. Push, pull it away. Rotating the palms. Feeling in the chest and delts as we push. Feeling it in the upper back as we pull. Now let's add the lower body a little bit more. So take it halfway down then up. Halfway down then up. Drive through the heels. Make sure your knees aren't caving in. This is our last exercise of our body weight warm up, And then we grab those mini bands for the arms. Now take it three quarters of the way down. We're going a little bit lower with the lower body. Push and pull. We have eight, seven, six more. And five, we hold bottom. Last four. Three, two, 
Whole bottom, now pull it back, back. We're not all the way down with the lower body, but we're about three quarters of the way there. My shoulders are on fire. Keep those elbows high. Just squeeze the upper back. Neutral spine, neutral low, low pelvis especially. Little push. Flip the arms, now we push. Like we're going around that beach ball. Small motion. Now bring it in a little bit more. We have eight, six, four, three, two, one. Release, inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, bring it down. Grab your mini band. Now we have a warm up, warm up with the mini band. So we're going to use this band to really fire up the arms. So go ahead, place that band in a low band position right around the wrist, right above the wrist, below or above the watch if you want. Heels and toes out. We're coming into first position. First, we're just going down, press it up. Going down, drive through the heels. We'll add the arms in four. In three, we add that front raise, press into the band. Last one, now it's down, lift it. Front raise with first position plies, press into that band. Feel the delt start to really fire up. Down and lift. We have eight more. It's eight, seven, six, and five. We hold it. Four, three, two. Hold the arms and the legs. Pulse down and out. Arms are pressing out. The legs are going down. How are, are those shoulders feeling? Getting nice and warm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, then we hold, last two, now hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Now we're grabbing the band right in front of the face, eye level, using the thumbs, but if you wanna take it to this grip, feel free to. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. Extend the arms long. Now as we tap, we're pulling that band down, working the lats again, bringing the band right in front of the face, pull it down with the laps, lats, then return to center. Let's go. Down and pull. Down and pull. Tap and pull. Tap and pull. Draw the lats down. This is pretty challenging. You can make this more attainable if this feels too challenging by lightening the resistance band. We need a pretty light resistance band for the upper body. You can always stick with body weight. Tap and pull. Eight more like this. It's eight. Seven, six, it's burning. Five more. Last four, three, two. Feet go to second position. Roll the shoulders back and down, just pulse the legs. All right, drive through the heels. Get that mind-muscle connection to the glutes and hamstrings. Little pulses down. Bring the band right in front of eye level. Keep pulsing it down. We're going to go up and down with the legs while we pull the band away at the top. Here we go. It's down, pull it. Little face pulls, elbows high and wide. So you're squeezing and working the upper back and the legs. Down and pull. Pull it away, I know it's starting to burn. You got this. You have eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, whole bottom little pulses with the legs and the band. This is it. Then we get rid of this band around the arms and place it around the legs. We have eight and six. We hold four, three, two, big hold and squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over. Grab a hold of the right wrist with the left hand, side bend up and over to the left. Inhale up, switch the grip. Exhale, side bend up and over to the right. Now we are placing that band 
in a high band position right around the quad. So this is why I had my chair. Sit on your chair, slide that band up. You can always sit down, whatever feels best for you. Once you have that band around, grab your weights and meet me back onto the mat. We'll start in first position, heels and toes out. Sink down low into that first position. Keep the weight heavy in the heels. Now we're doing a little combo move. We have two lowers, so we lower for two, and then we'll drive into the band for two. All right, so this is what it looks like. Down for two, press for two. Join me, down for two, press and abduct. Down for two, press into that band. Down for two, press into the band. Down for two, drive it out for two. 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 Keep going. Down, two, go out for two. Down, two, go out for two. Two more, down, bring it out down, bring it out and hold. All right, now we're adding the arms, hold the legs. Here's what we got. It's a front raise, we hold it here. We pull it in, working the upper back. We press it out and then we lower down. So it's up, pull, press and lower. Join me, out, pull, press and lower. Again, up, it's shoulders, back, chest to lower. Four more. Last three. Two more. Last one. Lower two, abduct for two. It's lower two, press for two. Lower two, press for two. Again, little lower and press. Lower two, press for two. Four more. We lower, we press, we lower, press two more, lower two, press for two, flip the palms, lower two, press for two, now hold, arms go up, we curl it in and squeeze, bring it out, lower down, supinated grip, it's up, curl, out and lower, out, curl and lower, up, out and lower. Four more like this. It's four. Squeeze, lower down with control. Three. Two more. Last one. Lower two, abduct for two. Abduct for two. Lower two, abduct for two. Lower two. Abduct for two, last one, lower. Back to those front raises, press and pull. Bring it down, up, pull, press, lower down. Four more, just like this, it's four. Three. Two more, then we go back to those lateral raises to bicep curls, last one. Flip the palms, let's go. It's up, curl, lower down. Up with control, great job. Four more like this, last four. And lower, three. And lower, two more. And lower, last one. Nice work, now we take it side to side. We're working on those obliques, little booty hip action. So we're shortening the space in between the hip and the bottom rib cage. Work that waistline, out. Keep that diamond shape position in between the legs. All right, left hand will stay still. Right hand will go up. We'll add the arms and travel up and down. It's four, three, two, one. Go up, three, two, one. Lower, four, three, two, one. Go up, 
three, two, one. Again, lower down, drive it up. Four, count slow. It's four, three, two, one. Bring it up, four, three, two, four more like this. It's four, three, two, one. Bring it up, lower down. Bring it up, two more down, bring it up, last one, down, bring it up for four, three, two, hold it up, bring the arm up, we're hinging at this elbow, take the dumbbell towards the left shoulder, we're working that tricep, and then we extend it up, eight at a tempo, we have eight, seven, six, last five, four, and three, we hold and pulse, last two, last one, now little pulses down, little pulse at the legs, little pulses, keep breathing, eight more, just like this, it's eight, six, four, three, two, now hold, extend this right arm up, bring it down to the hip, left arm goes up, we hinge at the elbow, we have eight triceps, let's go, it's up, lower down, up, lower down. Four more like this, it's four, and three, we hold and pulse, last two, now little pulses down, pulse down an inch, down an inch. Eight more, last eight, six, four, three, two, hold the legs, extend the arms, booty hips. It's down, three, two, one, bring it up for four, three, two, one, obliques go down slow, two, one, bring it up for four, three, two, one, lower four, three, two, one, bring it up, four, Two, oh, one, again, go down. Small controlled movement with the arms. Bring it up. Four more like this, it's four. Bring it up for four, three, two, three more like this, it's lower. Then rise it up. Two more like this, go down. Three, two, one, bring it up for four, three, two, one, last time, go down, four, three, two, one, toes face forward, we're driving the quad up with the right leg, and then we bring it right back down, so it's lift to lower, stabilize those hips, brace the core, working the quads, two more, then we add the shoulder press with the left arm, let's go, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, a little pulses both, 16, just up an inch, keep breathing, you got this, here's our last, eight, and six, we switch sides, four, three, two, and one, right leg goes down, left toes go forward, we lift and rise, up through the quads, slight bend in this right knee, you may need to slide your band down a little bit, four more like this, it's four, three, two, add that shoulder, press with the right, up, seven, six, five more, last four, three, two, a little pulses up, think an inch up. This is where we'll start to burn. Keep it up, we have eight, six, that leg goes down, four, three, two, one, leg goes down, now right toes go forward, external rotation of the hips, we're lifting from that inner thigh in three, two, one. It's lift from the inner thigh. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Four more like this, then we'll add the bicep curl. Lift and lower, tap. 
add that supinated curl. Curl and squeeze. Curl and squeeze. Last six. Five more, then we hold in. Pulse, last four. Three. Two. Hold it up, little pulses, 16 up. Keep that external rotation, feeling it in the inner thigh. You got this, come on, last eight. And six, we hit that other side. Four, three, two, and release. Left toes go out, external rotation of the hips, lifting from that inner thigh, leg only for eight. Let's go. Up, lower down, up, lower down, lift it. Keep that core tight. We have four and three. We add that bicep curl, two. Now add that little curl, big squeeze up, big squeeze. Control that, come on, we have four, three, two. Hold it up, little pulses up, 16. I know what's burning, keep going. Breathe through it, come on, last eight, six, four, three, two, one. Release it down, narrow squat, toes face forward. Just start to pulse it down. Get that connection back to the glutes, knees over the ankles. Make sure you're driving into that band. Just little pulses down. Palms are facing in, go ahead, add that little hammer curl up. A few more pulses like this, then we'll stand it straight and just do the arms for some poliquin lateral raises. Here we go, stand up straight. We go in three, two, one. We curl, elbows out, wide, lower. Curl, elbows out, wide, lower down. Curl it, elbows out, wide, lower down. Four more like this, it's four. Three. Last two. Last one. Just pulse that narrow squat, go down. Little pulses like this. Then we have one narrow squat to wide squat, back to the narrow squat, and then we rise, so let's do it. We lower, wide, up, return. Lower, wide, up, return. Lower, wide, up, return. Keep that chest lifted. We have four more like this. And then we add those poliquin lateral raises to this leg movement. Last two, last one. Poliquin lateral raises with these legs, let's go. Curl it wide and in. Curl it wide, press through the heel. We have eight total. Curl, elbows out, wide, raise it up. Four more. Last three, and two, we stand it tall. Last one, stand it tall, bring that weight to the right leg. We just bring it out and in, lateral leg lifts. Really big squeeze in that outer thigh and glute. Slight bend in that left knee. Eight more like this, it's eight, seven, six, Five more, and four, we hold and pulse. Three, two, hold it up, little pulses, 16 up. Engage the core, we're balancing, working the core too. Here's our last eight, and six, we go to poliquin lateral raises. Three, two, one, bring it up, out, lower it down. Eight, just like this, so we have six more. Just giving those legs a nice break. We have four, three more, two more. Here's our last one. Narrow squat to a wide squat. It's down, in, and raise. Down, wide, and raise it up, down. Step it out, step it in, bring it up. Four more like this, last four. Drive it up, 
Keep those knees behind the toe. Last two. Here's your last one. Then we add the arms. Let's go. Up, out, rise. Curl it up, elbows wide. Drive it up, curl it. Bring it up, curl it. Drive through that heel. Last four. Three. Come on, two more. Last one. Lateral raises with that left leg, 16 total. Slight bend in this right knee. Working on those outer thighs and glutes. Raise it up, big squeeze. Keep that right knee soft. Up and squeeze. We have eight. You can always use a chair right here. Six more. Here's your last four. And three, we hold in pulse. Two. Now hold it up, little pulses, 16. 16, then we come to the mat. You got this. Stabilize, last eight. Six, four, three, two, and one. Come to the top of the mat. Inhale, long spine as we exhale. Guide those dumbbells down to the mat and place them off to the side. Bend the knees so much so that we can plant the palms and just bring the feet back, back, back until we're in a nice little downward facing dog, giving ourselves a little stretch before we hit the glutes again. So pedal off those heels. Both heels reach towards the mat. Inhale, look up at the hands, and as we exhale, just ripple into that tabletop position, align the wrists underneath the shoulders. So before we begin, any of these exercises we're about to do on the hands, if this bothers your wrist, you can come down to the forearms, all right? So any wrist discomfort, come down to the forearms. That is your option, all right? We gotta draw that deep belly button up and in to help stabilize those hips. Now, shift the weight into the left knee, rise this right knee an inch off the ground. From here, right knee goes out to the side. Squeeze the outer glute and squeeze that outer thigh. Fire hydrants, don't let that left hip sink off and over. You hold it steady. And then we bring it in, 16 like this, let's go. It's up, lower down. Fire hydrants. Whew. Left hips not moving, just the right. Out and squeeze. Keep this tempo. You got this. We have eight more. It's eight, seven, six, five. I know it's burning. We have four, three, two. Hold it up. Little pulses. Eight, six. Four, three, two, now hold that leg. We kick it out, then in. Kick out, bring it in. Kick it back, kick it back. This is where it starts to burn. We have 16 total. Come on, here's your last. Eight, seven, six, five more. Last four, three, two, Hold that leg long, tap the toe, down, then lift. We tap the toe, then lift. Tap the toe, then lift. Small range of motion, but that right glute, right outer thigh should be on fire. Down and lift. Eight more like this. It's eight, big squeeze. Seven, squeeze. Core is engaged, last four, three, and two, we hold in pulse. Last one, now little pulses up an inch. For four, three, two, one, and lower knees are wide. We're bringing it up, so walk the hands in. We have kneeling squats. So if you've never done this before, drive into the band from here. We hinge from the hips, and then we drive it forward like we're doing a hip thrust or a deadlift. Now we're squeezing at the top, but when we squeeze those glutes, we wanna keep a nice neutral pelvis, so no overextending. <sighs> neutral spine, they should be firm. All right, we have 16 like this, then eight pulses, let's go. Down, big squeeze. Big squeeze. Squeeze those glutes. If you don't know whether your glutes are working, place your hands on them. They should firm up. We have eight, seven, six. This may look funny, but it's super effective. Four more. Three, two. 
One, now little pulses. It's squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. For four, three, two, one. Come back to that tabletop position. We have to do the other side. Draw your deep belly button up and in. All right, left knee hovers. We have fire hydrants for 16, then eight pulses. Let's go out, then in, then in. Keep that right hip nice and stable by bracing the core. Equal distance and equal weight and distance in both hands. Eight more like this. It's eight, seven, six, five. Then we hold in pulse last four, three, two. Hold it up, little pulses for eight, seven, and six. You hold four, three, two. Now hold it. Kick it out, drive it in. Kick it out, drive it in. Kick out, drive in. Kick out, drive in. Keep this tempo. Eight more just like this. It's eight, seven, six, five. Last four, three, two. Hold it out. We lift it up and down. It's tap and lift. Tap and lift. Small range of motion, 16 total. Big squeeze of those glutes. Here's your last eight, seven, six, five more. Then we hold in pulse. Last four, three, two. Hold it up for eight pulses. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees go down, readjust your band if it slid on you. It's the only thing I don't like about those latex bands. All right, knees go wide, kneeling squat. So we hinge it back and then big squeeze of the glutes at the top, neutral pelvis, don't overextend at the belly. You can't engage your core that way. 16 total, big squeeze of the glutes, let's go. Down, squeeze it. Drive those knees out. You should feel the pelvic floor engage as well, which is a part of your core. Last eight, seven, six, five, four. Then we hold impulse in three, two, one. Now little pulses in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, cross at the ankles. We're bringing the legs out in front. We're coming into some abdominal work. Adjust your band as needed. Bring the hands behind you for a little bit of support. Make sure you're sitting down in a neutral pelvis. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, shoulders down and away from the ears. Legs are long. We're driving one leg in at a time. So bring and pull this right knee in. We're gonna be working the quads as well, engaging the core. Then we extend it long. So we pull and crunch, release it down. Now tempo, alternate right and left. Pull it in, pull it in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Feel that belly hollow out. Draw that deep belly button up and in. Pull it in, bring it out. We have eight seven and six, you'll have the option to advance. You can hover the opposite leg in four, three, two, option to advance, hover the legs in and out, in and out. Inhale, exhale, drive it in. How are those quads feeling? Mine are on fire. In, bring it out. We have eight more, seven, Six, five more, you got it. Last four, three, two, one. Heels go down, inhale up, knees go off, and then exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time until the, every vertebrae is on that mat. I have to adjust my mic. Press into the band so that the soles of the feet are touching on the insides. Bring it to that posterior tilt so no space in between your low back and the mat. From here, drive it up, big squeeze of the glutes, 
then bring it down. So it's up and squeeze, then lower. Little frog pumps, up and down. Press into the band as we rise it up. Big squeeze up. Eight more like this. It's eight, seven, six, five more. Last four, three, two. Hold it up, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, hands behind the head. Just bring it up, lower down, crunch it up. Exhale, hollow it out. Now press into the band as we crunch it up. Press it, press out, press out. Abs and outer thighs. Eight more, just like this. It's eight, seven, six more, five, and then we hold. Last four, three, two. Now hold it up, pulse that band. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Extend the right leg long, extend the left leg long. We pull it in. We can keep the hands behind the head or we can let the head rest. It's up to you. We have eight and six, both legs hold. Four, three, two, both legs hold, just the left. Just the left for eight. Four more, last four, three, two, Switch it right for eight. It's eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, one. Raise the soles of the feet towards the sky. Drive into that band. So we have tension in the outer thighs and glutes. We crunch it up and lower down. Crunch it up, lower down. Last eight, seven, six, five more, four, three, two. Head goes down and rest. Hands go behind, underneath the lower back. Legs go down for two and up for two. Let's go. Bring it up for two, lower two. Up for two, lower two. Up for two, lower two, up for two. We add the abduction, so it's down for two, press for two, up for two, press for two, lower two, press for two, up for two, and press for two. You got it. Four more. Bring it up and press. Last three and press, bring it up, drive it out, two more. It's lower two, press for two, up for two, press for two, last one. Press for two, up for two. Now keep pressing, we lower with the presses. Bring it up, keep abducting for four, three, two, one, bring it up. Four, three, two, one. This is it. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up. We have four more like this, and then we are done. Last four. Bring it up. I know those legs are on fire. Three more. Bring it up. Last two. Bring it up. All right, we're holding bottom this time. Four, three, two, press into that band. Now hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring those knees in. Great job. Make little circles with the knees and then go counterclockwise with those knees. Let's take that band off while we're really close to it. Bring the outside of the left ankle over that right quad, draw it in for a figure four stretch. 
Inhale, pull it in, exhale. Gentle press into that inner thigh to deepen the stretch. And let's switch sides. Inhale, pull it in, exhale to release. Bring both soles of the feet towards the sky and then pull it in, widening the knees to around the armpits. Very gentle, happy baby. Sway side to side, massaging the spine as well. Release the feet, grab a hold of the backs of the hamstrings. Give yourself a few spinal rolls up, massaging the spine once more. On the next roll, come all the way up, swing the legs behind you and come onto the belly. Inhale for a baby cobra. Exhale all the way down. Again, inhale baby cobra. Exhale all the way down. This time extend the arms fully for that full upward facing dog. Right hip down, look over the left shoulder. Inhale to center, left hip down, look over the right. Inhale to center as we exhale, curl the toes and lift those hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Drive the chest towards the quads, bending the left knee, straightening the right. When you're ready, switch sides. Getting a nice stretch along the traps in the upper back as well. Opening the chest even. Both heels reach towards the ground. Inhale, look up at the hands and exhale, tippy toe forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, full forward fold, root to rise, reverse swan, dive it up. Inhale, and as we exhale, grab a hold of this left wrist. Gentle side body stretch. Inhale up, switch sides. Inhale, look up as we exhale, cactus and squeeze. One more time, inhale up and exhale, cactus and squeeze. Great work today. If your band was riding up on you, my glasses are super fogged. If your band was riding up on you, you may want a heavier resistance band. It will happen with those latex bands. So you can always grab a fabric band when we go to the legs, not the arms, or you can just make it into a heavier resistance band and that it won't roll up on you. Mine did roll up on me today, which is kind of annoying sometimes, but you know what? We'll make it work because these bands are good for us. Any questions, let me know. Like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see while I am out of a job. Have a great, have a great rest of your day.